Hi, I'm first going to talk about my technologies and then about policy. Um, I moved from Los Angeles to Israel 10 years ago to get into the technology world. I moved back to the United States uh, two years ago to bring them to market. I got interested in renewable energy and decided that I wanted to make game-changing innovations that would save the planet. And I, so far I filed around 30 patents in different areas. I first like to tell you a little bit about them. They're somewhat related by being influenced by a discipline called computational fluid dynamics. That sounds like a mouthful. I'm going to make it really easy for you. Uh, imagine that there's wind blowing at one meter per second. The relationship between power output and velocity, power is related to the velocity cubed. So that's one times one times one, one light bulb. If you increase that velocity to two meters per second, then you get two times two times two, which is eight light bulbs just by increasing the velocity by one meter per second. So you take that, and then on top of it, let's say you apply it to water, you multiply it by 1,000 because of the density of water as opposed to wind. So you work with this kind of uh, enhancements of power, and we make geometries that can cause the speed to be higher at the point where it hits the blades. And now let's see how some of it applies. We make small wind tulips for flat roofs. Now, they're beautiful. That's why we call them tulips. They're quiet and have low vibration, but there are two major impacts on the cost of energy. And those are, one, that they start at lower speeds than other turbines. And two, this is what I call more zoom in less room. Um, there's a cluster effect. They're designed in such a way, and this is one of the patent pending things that I have, um, is that if you place them at the right distance next to each other, one improves its neighbor by 20%. Most wind turbines you need to separate, make it far away. Now, this is a game changer because if you were to imagine where would the solar industry be if you had to put one panel on one end of a roof and another panel on the other end of the roof and nothing in between. So this opens the capability to make rooftop wind farms.